All right, everybody, it looks like we've got a bad news update on the angelfish tank here. I uh, just came down and got the lights turned on, and one of the first things I noticed was my uh, albino angelfish back here. I know it's not coming out on camera right now, but it has two big fuzzy grayish white patches uh, up near its dorsal fin on either side of its body. So if it was shaped in any other shape, it would be a very clear saddleback marking, uh, but because of the extremely laterally compressed body, uh, it appears like two patches on either side. I'm hoping we can get a straight down the front view because you can really see the raised sort of fluffy looking, it looks like a fungus. And I suppose it might be, but considering I just had a columnaris or a columnaris outbreak in another tank, I was very careful not to transmit it or cross-contaminate, but it's entirely possible that I could have. Now, it's also entirely possible that this could be something different and it could be something coincidental, but I'm going to treat it as though it's columnaris for now because that's, you know, would obviously be my most uh, likely issue, my most likely uh, problem. I'm getting a little bit of him turning. I'm trying to wait for him to actually come and turn and face us. Uh, if you look at its left side, it's much more pronounced than it is on its right side. So I've already begun a salt treatment, and that has actually shown me one of the other problems I have with this tank. I really need to get in there and do something with this vegetation. I know it looks pretty, but it's killing my circulation in here. If you'll notice, this to end of the tank looks a lot cleaner and clearer, I should say. That is because I just poured in a cup of salt. Well, I poured in a cup of salt dissolved into water. You never pour salt directly into your tanks. But I poured a cup of salt in the tank, and I poured it in this end so it would be concentrated around the angelfish for a little while before it disperses. And I was expecting, with all of the circulation I have in the tank, to see it just sort of disperse within minutes and it's probably been about five minutes now and it is beginning to spread out and in you know a little bit in half an hour here the tank will be crystal clear again um, but right now i just poured a bunch of salt in there and the waters are still mixing and that's what's giving it that sort of grayish appearance and as i said you get down to this end and it's not nearly as bad a few minutes ago it was noticeably different it looked like two different tanks on either side of this big mass of plants here so I'm not really sure where we're going to go from here. I know with the other issue I had in the other tank, pretty much all the fish that were susceptible to um, being infected by it died off. And so I don't know whether it died out of the tank or I killed it out of the tank, but I did treat the tank with um, an antibac uh, antibiotic and I also salted it. So according to what you read, some sites indicate that salt alone is enough. Others think that the antibiotics is necessary. And then there's some sites that will basically tell you you can never get it out of your tank. All you can do is treat the fish that have it and accept the fact that it's just always going to be in your tank. One of the things that everybody seems to agree on is that stress is a key factor in an outbreak. And stress coupled with injuries, such as a stress-inducing aggressive fish that's not only harassing the other animals, but also causing some minor injuries to them, is just prime, you know, prime territory for uh, an infection to take hold. Uh, a stressed-out fish with superficial injuries is just asking for trouble. So in this tank, I've got that Chinese algae eater that does, see there you can get a little bit better look, it's not real clear, but you can definitely see how he's got raised spots on either side there. Uh, that is a very white, fuzzy looking stuff, it almost looks like cotton wool now that he's out of the direct light, you can see it a little bit on this side. Let's see if I can zoom in on it and get a better look. There we go, that's a little better look at it. Now tell me that's not something for me to be concerned about right there. That is definitely some fuzzy looking something going on on this fish and it's certainly not ick. So I'm going with columnaris. I've already salted the tank. I don't have time to do anything else right now. I got to go get my day started. Um, I guess when I get back this afternoon I'm going to do a water change and a filter change. That'll help and then I can decide what I'm going to do about 
uh, medication. I've got enough that I suppose I can get started medicating this whole tank. I know it makes more sense to pull the fish out and medicate the fish in a little quarantine tank, but my thought is if it's in this tank, let's just get it out of this tank. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see where we go from here. I'm just going to consider this a morning update and let you know what's going on. So I got to go get my day started. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, you don't want to miss anything I got coming up. This is my angelfish tank and there will be plenty to come as we find out what's going on with this fish and we proceed with treatment. So thanks for watching this one and uh, I'll see you real soon on the next one.